Now, do the math there. That's about a two to one margin against the bond issue. KTK's Rachel Hackworth right now live in studio to explain what is next for Troop ISD's three schools. Rachel. Neil and Casey, the last bond that passed for Troop ISD was back in 2005. That was for $5.7 million. This time, voters denied the project. The $22.6 million that they hoped to raise would have been used for a new wing of an elementary school that fully connects to the building. Also, for a cafeteria expansion so that the middle schoolers and high schoolers can eat separately. Some voters and troops say they understand the intent, but not the timing. It was a good thing that, you know, that it didn't pass. And I like we spoke before, you know, dealing with the COVID at this time and uncertainty. I, I was happy for it, but, you know, as a resident of Troop, you know, I want the kids to have what they want also and what they need. If the bond had passed, people in Troop could have seen a property tax increase of approximately $300 for a home valued at $100,000. People in Deep East Texas attempted to pass a similar bond for Huntington ISD, and that bond didn't pass either. Reporting live in the studio, Rachel Hackbarth, KTK News.